Hello, you beautiful people. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps with my channel and turn that notification bell on because I'm uploading on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays now. Sometimes there will be some bonus videos in between, like this one right now. But this is totally worth it because I'm going to do my first review of the Love Island collection. If you watched yesterday's video, I did a full reveal of everything that's in the collection because it is a huge collection. Like there's fragrance, there's accessories, there's tan, like there's body stuff, there's obviously all the makeup. It's an absolutely huge collection. So you want to see everything that is in it because not everything will be tested in here, like the tan and stuff. I won't be doing any of that. I'll just be doing the makeup today. I will leave it all linked down below so you can see what was in yesterday's video. And then tomorrow I'll be back with another video and we're going to be testing out whatever is left of the makeup that we haven't tried in today's video. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be testing one of the highlighters, we're going to be testing the bronzer, they do come in two different shades, but this one obviously is way too dark for me, so we'll test this one today instead. We're going to be testing the big Forever Flawless palette from the collection, we'll also test one of the lip kits we have three to choose from. Tomorrow what I'll do is I'll test one eye with this Forever Forest um, di Dynamic Palette and the other eye I'll do the other ones. We have like a more nude one and a more pinky, brighter one. So I'll do them ones tomorrow. We also have the brow gel to test for today and then we'll test one of, oh, this one's a lip oil, this one's a lip gloss, so we'll test both of them today. There's also three different pairs of lashes which just look like this. We'll do one pair today and one pair tomorrow. And then we also have this little kabuki brush. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> that we will to try. <laughs> that we will try today as well. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. And if you want to know prices and everything, like I said, yesterday's video had all the details. I will try and include as many as I can as possible today, but let's just get straight into it because we have a lot to test. Let's go. Don't forget as well, I do have a 20% off discount code for Revolution if you use the code LUCE20. So L-U-C-E 20 will get you 20% off Revolution's UK and US website. If you have any problems using the code, please let me know in the comments down below just so I can take it up with Revolution to make sure that everything's working correctly. So let's start with the lip oil first. It has this big Dove applicator. This retails for £6. Ooh. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells nice. Let me see if it says online what it's meant to smell like. I'm so bad at smells. Mm. Oh my god, it feels really nice. Hydrating lip gloss is peach scented. Oh my yeah, that makes sense. With a subtle pink shade. Do you want that lip oil? It's actually beautiful. So I'm going to pop on some of the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base in the shade Light. So this is what the I've Got a Text palette looks like. And then the inside, I think, is beautiful not gonna lie i think they've done this the packaging and the colors for this um collab very 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 well and then this is what it looks like so i like the fact that you've got you have got your neutrals and you have got like your neutral shimmers but you also have a little pop of something as well so you've got a little pop of blue a little pop of pink a little bit of a shimmery blue a bit of a shimmery pink as well so i think i'm gonna go for like a neutral eye with a pop of color underneath so i'm gonna go in with the shade sunset to begin with, oh my nails go with it all, love it. And I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is from like the, I think it was like the I Hat Revolution like unicorn little brush set. So I'm gonna put this directly in the crease. That's way more pigmented than I expected. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be that pigmented with such a big fluffy brush. Wow, okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this all the way through the crease. Oh my God, that is so much more pigmented than I expected it to be. Wow, wow, okay. So I'm gonna go in with, I think we're gonna go in with the shade Beach next, which is this one here. I'm actually using, I'm going out. Like the day that I'm filming this is the day that you're, is the day before you're gonna be seeing it. And tomorrow I'm going out with some of my Patreons um, to Leeds, we're staying over. And I might actually take this palette with me because I'm wearing a pink, that was weird. I'm wearing a pink outfit and this has the vibrant pink matte in it that I really want and it also has the darker brown so I might actually take this out with me tomorrow because it'll just go perfectly with my little Barbie outfit that I'm going to be wearing and the shimmer would go really well as well so I might actually wear this tomorrow too so I'm going to pack some of this in the inner corner and blend it out and then I'm going to take a Bubel C4 brush and I'm going to go in with the darkest shade, I'm just laughing because it says message. 
as I can't wait to be I've got a text I just bloody love love island oh she is pink montaud so I'm going to focus this on the outer corner okay so for my colour across my lid I'm actually going to go in with lit which is this one here and then I'm going to go in with grafting this one here in the inner corner so I'm just going to go in with lit Ooh, on my finger that feels quite soft okay that's what lit looks like and then I'm going to pop this just messily well, not messily but you know what I mean just shove it on my lid okay <laughs> not gonna lie that is beautiful that actually looks stunning I've definitely gone high on the side <laughs> from the other eye but can you see that shim shimmer shim shimmery shim shimmery shim 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 I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of that sunset which is that lightest color that we use and just gonna use that to blend out the edges like so so this is where we are at so far just something nice and neutral and sexy so i've just cleaned up the edges just with a makeup wipe i always forget to use my cosmetic tape so bad for that so i'm going to put on the rest of my base and then we'll come back and we'll try the other products okay so i've just popped in some of the wet and wild foundation and some of the collection 2000 lemon concealer my foundation is a little bit darker but i'm just trying to use up my foundations it's on all the drill by now i'm just trying to get through them so i'm not having them just sat in my drawer for no reason but before i set my under eye concealer i'm gonna go in with a brush i don't know which brush i want though i think we'll go for this one and pop some of that pink underneath my eyes so the pink is the shade flirty and because my concealer is still wet it should still give me the same amount of pigment that i'd get on like a eye primer base i want to see how pigmented it is <gasps> yes for me to wear for tomorrow night yeah i'm definitely wearing this yep 100 percent, 100 percent. this brush is huge i don't think i expected to put that much on <laughs> to be honest and i'm going to use the same brushes that we use for the top with whatever color is left on them just to blend that out and kind of blend it in with the top I'm actually going to take a little bit of the shade Playful, which is the shimmery pink in the palette. Just with the same brush, I'm going to pop some of that just at the front here. I don't really think it's made that much of a difference, but it's just kind of matched up with the top eye. with like having a little bit of shimmer there. And then, like I said before, I'm going to take just a, a little fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Grafting. Definitely not the right brush for this, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop this in this in a corner, like so. Alex is going to absolutely love this shade for her in a corner. This is actually a really, a really nice highlighter shade, to be honest. And I'm going to actually take some just underneath the brows as well. That's actually really pretty. So it's time to try the bronzer. I haven't put any liquid bronzer on on purpose so that we can actually see what it looks like. So this is the Mega Bronzer in Vacation and this is the other shade. I do feel like this should have been like at least one lighter because this is going to be quite dark and obviously this is more for deeper skin tones. So, so as always I'm going to take my Peaches and Cream PC or full brush. Let's just take, oh she pigmented, let's just take a little bit to begin with. And let's see what this is like. I'm sure this is like really, really like cheap. Let me see the price. I'm sure it was like five or six pound. Okay, so it's not as scary as what it looks in the packaging, but I definitely think a light, like a really fair skin tone won't get away with this. Like I don't think I'd get away with it when I haven't got like a darker foundation on. But yeah, this is five pound. That's such a bargain. So I'm going to try the highlighter next. So we have the mega highlighters. We have so lit and then stun hun i'll save this one for tomorrow's video because this is the one that really interests me so this is so lit that golden kind of glow which i absolutely love so i'm going to take my peaches and cream pc 17 brush let's take some of this jess has already said to me if this is really good to bring it with me for leads tomorrow so she can try it Ooh, okay so I think it's one that you can definitely like build up in comparison to the bronzers so that you could get like a nice like soft I can say soft shine it's not if you like an intense highlight you're gonna absolutely yeah 
love this. This colour is perfect for me. It might be, mm, can you see a tiny little bit of a shadow? I don't know if it's maybe a little bit, just a tiny bit of a cast. I wonder if the other one does that. But I do feel like we should have done like with an extra shade of this for deeper skin tones as well, like on the side. Beautiful perfection. I don't know if it's given me a little bit, can you see that? A little bit of a cast. So maybe even one like lighter this than this would have been better or to not have that that shadow in it. I don't know, what do you think? Am I just seeing things because of my lights? Please let me know. <laughs> okay, now let's try the Fix and Style Gel, which is, it is like a brow gel, but it's also meant to be like a styling off like your little baby hairs. I don't do any of that because I wouldn't have a clue what I'm doing, but I will use it on my brows. I know that Rach at work did one where she also did it on her brows, but also did it on her hair as well. So when that goes up, you'll be able to see that on Revolutions channel. I can't get it out. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, so it was actually glued to the bottom of the packaging. No wonder I couldn't get it out because it was actually glued in. This is, oh, I found that so annoying because I have to peel it off. I don't do sticky stuff. <laughs> right, anyways, let's try this. This is just what it looks like. And then this is the spoolie. I'm glad that it's not like a massive thick mascara one, but it is still quite a thick spoolie, isn't it? Like a big one. Ooh, okay, I can see that it is like a like a brow glue kind of texture. I don't know if you could see that when I was brushing it through. I wonder if this would have been better for me to have put on before I did my base makeup. Can you see that difference? Just oh my god, I just dropped it. <laughs> it's literally like a glue. I definitely should have put this on first and let it dry and then put some brow pomade in because like, you can see my gap when I don't have like a colour in my gel. But yeah, that's that's very unique and very, very different. So in regards to lashes, I'm gonna try some of the Love Island and Revolution Chemistry False Half Lashes, which just look like this. These retails for $6.99, which I actually don't think is a bad price. Oh, I can feel my brow is hardening. <laughs> um, I don't think it's a bad price for false lashes especially for half lashes i just can't seem to find decent half lashes anywhere so i'm really excited to try these so we put them on and i'll show you what they look like so this is what the lashes look like this one i definitely have not applied properly so please just ignore that i'm just popping on some of the l'oreal blush of paradise Mel I can't say it. melon dollar baby blush which is what my friend carly got me who's an absolute babe. I've also popped on some of the Revolution Renaissance eyeliner, which again, I definitely haven't applied it <laughs> very well, but hey ho, we move. And then I've also popped on some of the some of the Revolution Influencer Overnight Pink Eye Pencil. I'm gonna put on some of the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls blush. This one's in the shade Fight and Crime. I'm literally just gonna take the tiniest little amount. That brow glue is like literally like my brows are like hard. And like they feel, they feel like a little bit, yeah, a little bit stiff, but they don't feel like they're gonna, sometimes when I put soap brow on, it feels like my brows are gonna like break, like I've got a face mask on. These don't feel like that, but they are definitely set, like they're not going anywhere. So if you are gonna buy the little brow gel, I'd say do your brows first, like how you would normally do them, put all your stuff on and then put that on as the last step. And I think it will hold your brows in place, like, for ages because it feels like it's set <laughs> like it totally feels like it's set so we have three different lip kits to choose from we have vibing bombshell and then islander yeah <laughs> could not spit that out i think i might go for the shade vibing it looks more like a baby pink so in these sets you get a lip liner and you also get a liquid lipstick and it just comes out like this and it has the little love island kind of branding on it so i'm going to go in with the lip liner first. So that is just the lip liner by itself. That was actually really smooth, really easy to apply and a nice formula. Definitely better than Revolution's normal like lip liner formula. And then let's go in with the Vibin lip, liquid lipstick. Oh, that's a nice colour. That's really, oh my God, it smells unreal. Oh, it's right my nose. <laughs> That's a really, really thin formula. 
So that is what it looks like when it first applies. I'll give it a little second or two for it to dry down and we'll see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like after a minute or so. It's really, really, really comfortable. If you are not somebody who particularly likes liquid lipsticks, but you'd like to try one for the summer, I'd really recommend, I've obviously I haven't tried the other two formulas, but I would really recommend this one that I have tried because it is, look, so comfortable. Like there's no, there's no stickiness to it. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit like a hybrid. Yeah, I really like that. This lip gloss is called Water Bottle, which I just think is so stinking cute. The actual like lid of this is like all like 3D where the leaves are. It feels really fancy. So this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna pop it straight on the top. Ooh, there's actually barely any transfer. Okay, so these are really comfortable and they don't transfer these liquid lipsticks, what? Excuse me. It's literally like the tiniest little bit on the applicator. The liquid lipsticks are so good. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, this is the finished look. I think that is everything that I was meant to review for today's video. The only thing I forgot to do was the Kabuki brush. But I'm on with you. Obviously, this is really good for travel. You can pop it in your handbag, good for nights out. But it's £10. I feel like that's quite a lot. Obviously, you can use my 20% off code, but. Yeah, I just feel like that's quite pricey, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is the finished look using a lot of the collection. So like I said, tomorrow we will focus on the other highlighter. We will also use the two little dynamic palettes. I think I put them away over there. So we'll use them when we do one look on one eye, one look on the other eye, and use one of the other lip kits as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you in tomorrow's video. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you so much for my Patreons for being so lovely and so supportive. I'd love to know what you think of this collection, how you picked anything up. Are you going to now after watching my video? Don't forget to use my discount code. Just by the way, just in case you're new, I don't make any money off the discount code or anything like that. It's not affiliate, it just saves you money. The more that we use it, the more they will re renew it for us and the more we can save money. So you know what I mean. Happy days, happy days. So yeah, thank you so much. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow for Love Island review number two. Thank you so much. Love you so much. Bye. Mm. Thank <laughs> you.